How you doing? I'm Matt Walden, Pro Drifter, and we're here with Mishimoto and a 1998 BMW E36. And today we're gonna to be installing these silicone hoses, which are not only gonna add reliability and performance, they also look great. For installation of the Mishimoto silicone hose kit, you will need a flathead screwdriver and a coolant funnel. Installation time is about 45 minutes. Difficulty is two out of five. First step, in working on the BMW in any Mishimoto product is to remove the negative battery terminal, which is located in the trunk. After you've removed the battery, next step is to jack up the vehicle and securely support it using jack stands. All right, make sure the car is completely cooled off before this next step. We're gonna be removing the radiator drain plug out of the bottom of it, and that's gonna be right here. Get it loosened up with a flathead screwdriver first, and then you should be able to unscrew it by hand. Make sure you have a drain pan ready to go as well. Next step is to remove the front intake duct, air dam and stuff. And that's gonna be taken off by removing four eight millimeters head size bolts. And the alternator duct as well. And that one's held on by a hose clamp right on top of the alternator. Next step to installing the Mishimoto hose kit is to undo the top hose clamps on the upper radiator hose of the E36 BMW. Next step is to remove the lower radiator hose. And this one actually you can get to from inside the engine bay. There's two clamps, one on the lower side of the radiator and one right on the front of the engine. We'll go ahead and remove these hose clamps now. Here we have the comparison of the Mishimoto hose versus the OE hose on the E36 BMW. As you can tell, this one's about ready to hit the, hit, hit the trash can for the Mishimoto unit here. This is silicone, multi-layer silicone, uh, reinforced with nylon webbing. This one not only works better, but is gonna look better and last longer than the OE stuff. Time to install the Mishimoto hoses. What you want to do is get your hose clamps ready to go on this. Slide it on the upper water neck here and one on the top of the radiator and screw them down. Make sure they're nice and tight. That way you don't have any leaks. After you got the upper hose on, time to install the lower one. Feed this guy up. Make sure you put the hose clamp on this hose before you feed it up through there. It's kind of tight to get to. After you got everything all buttoned up, install the front air dam. After everything's buttoned up, all the nuts and bolts are tight, made sure the drain plug was tight on the radiator, we can go ahead and begin refilling things. Half water, half antifreeze, fill, refill the system. Don't be surprised if it takes a little bit more than what came out. After you're done refilling the reservoir, make sure you screw this in. And this is a German car, so make sure it's good and tight. Now that we got everything buttoned up, we're ready to attach the negative battery terminals back on the batteries. After the radiator is all refilled, go ahead and turn the car on and turn the heat on high. That way any air bubbles in the heater core system can escape through the radiator and through the water necks. After you start the vehicle, you wanna watch the temperature gauge on the dash and make sure it doesn't overheat. This concludes the installation portion of your new Mishimoto product.